Night, a family friend showing the spot where 15 bullets flew during a drive-by shooting, hitting an eight-year-old girl. Boston's police commissioner says the incident should outrage everyone. We're very fortunate. We could be talking about a, a young eight, eight-year-old child being, um, you know, being buried. Thankfully, the little girl's wound is very minor. WBZ Shante Lance is live at Boston Police Headquarters tonight as the search for the shooter continues. Shante? Again, still no suspects nor arrests. And as that little girl recovers tonight, her family and friends are outraged. You see that? Did you see it? Zyvette Little's points to the bullet holes in this front door from a drive by shooting. She's friends with the mother of an eight year old girl who was shot outside of Bromley Public Housing Complex in Roxbury Saturday night. I thought it was fireworks. And then when I seen that it was no fireworks because it was like double sound, I said, oh no, somebody then got shot. I think she got hit with fragments in, in the shoulder and possibly. A, 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 a graze fragment in the side. BPD says a short time later, a second shooting near 50 Bragdon Street in Roxbury. A 24 year old man was hurt but is expected to survive. A continuing violent early summer trend. We've been really picking it up in Heat Street. A couple weeks ago, we had a child grazed, a 15 year old up there. So we've been all over that place. Some neighbors say adding patrols isn't enough. Um, I don't think police patrol would be the answer. I think community programming would definitely help. Uh, building community is always helpful. These young kids running around with high powered guns that they can just press, pull the trigger and you know, sh shoot off 15 rounds. We, we were lucky last night, and, you know, let's all work together to make it a safe summer. And detectives do not think the two overnight shootings are connected. If you have any information, you're asked to contact police. Live at BPD headquarters, Shante Lands, WBC News.